Well, when it rains here in Arizona, we celebrate, right? Well, why not capture that rainwater when it does? It will do your plants some good. I want you to meet Tina Sleeper. She is a water resource specialist, and welcome. Good morning. Good to see you. Hi, Terry. Nice to be here. Well, I'll tell you what. It is great to have you here because, yeah, you're right. When it does rain, we want to capture that and we want to harvest it and use it because it's amazing what <laughs> rainwater will do to our plants. So exactly how do we capture that water? Well, uh, rainwater falls on our roof and we get about 600 gallons of uh, potential rainwater that we can harvest off a thousand square foot rain in a one inch storm. Wow. So there's a lot of potential to harvest rainwater and that's why a lot of people are getting more and more interested in this ancient practice. Mm -hmm. It's actually been done for thousands of years in um, dry, arid desert places where we don't have a lot of rain, but when it rains, it really pours. Yeah. Why is that rainwater so good for our soil? It is actually salt free. So, our hungry, thirsty plants, they love that salt free water. We have a lot of sodium in our soils, mm. which a lot of the desert uh, adapted and native plants, they love that, but we get it a lot of it concentrated. So, that rain flushes it out and the roots just love it. Wow. You know, that's, it's, who knew, right? Because you don't really think about salt in the water. I mean, we're, we, we're, we work so hard to get rid of it. Yes. Right? <laughs> All right, let's talk about the, the two types of rainwater harvesting. You said there's, there's active and passive. What do you mean by that? So active rainwater harvesting is when the water falls off the roof, you capture it into a cistern, a rain barrel, or a tank. Mm -hmm. And what basically happens is you have to actively use that rainwater after you store it. Mm -hmm. And you're limited oftentimes by the amount of water you can store in that tank, 55 gallons, couple hundred. Right. And again, you can store 600 gallons in a one inch rain off a thousand square foot roof. Right. So because of that, um, passive rainwater harvesting, which can be very subtle, um, a lot of the pictures that you're seeing on the screen mm -hmm. show mm -hmm. just little basin, some swales, some built up land creating berms, and that can store a lot of water in our soil and in our desert plants. So you know what? That's a really cool way. And you guys have these these landscape watering guides where you have off, offer up all these tips, and you've been giving us some great tips. But sometimes it's just just in the way you landscape will help you collect that rainwater. Yes, if you integrate rainwater harvesting within your goals for the landscape and use a lot of different um, landscape techniques to meet goals, like if you have a hot side of your home is the west side, you want to build a, a plant a shade tree, plant the rain first. Mm -hmm. um, create a basin that can. Get, encourage that rainwater to infiltrate deep into the soil. And how do you know though, and if you have, especially if you have raw land and you don't really know where the water is going to gather, can you create those, those harvesting berms? Definitely. The very first step to successful rainwater harvesting or any kind of landscape design is to observe your land mm -hmm. and to look for a long time at different parts of the day, different parts of different seasons as well. You want to observe and see where that water is going and see different issues like you might have, even like heat, and look at your existing plants. And if they're struggling, you know, is the water getting flown off? Is it running off that land going into our streets? How can we get it to linger? How can we get it to slow, to spread, and to sink into that soil so we can store it in our soil and store it in our plants? Yeah, good stuff. You know, it's so, it's, it's so precious to us here in Arizona, and when it does, Rain Boy, we do want to capture it. Okay. Tina, thank you so thank much. You. Really, really good information. Let me tell you how you can get more information to learn how to harvest rainwater yourself. Just go to wateruseitwisely.com. And you know, we usually have Wayne drop here this morning. He's going to be with us next week. He's Wayne is on vacation. That's where Wayne is. But listen, you can save water around the house for a chance to win a Disneyland vacation. This is open. It's a contest open to kids ages 5 to 12. All you have to do is download Where's Wayne? It's the activity book and answer all the questions correctly. Just go to abc15.com slash water.